Hey, my Capricorn babies, this is going to be a quick message here to see how you are currently feeling about your person, whoever you're dealing with, okay, and what is going to take place with you guys, all right, what's this energy, I hope all has been well with y'all, this is the last uh, Zodiac I'm doing for tonight, I will continue Zodiacs tomorrow, so make sure you're checking out the Aries, the Libra, and the Scorpio message if you're dealing with one of those signs or if you have it in your chart, okay? Also, I will leave all my other platforms below to my Facebook, my Instagram, as well as my TikTok. I go TikTok live almost every night, okay? So make sure that you guys are following me on there and all my other platforms, okay? I post weekly messages on my Facebook page and I post on TikTok a lot and go live, so other than YouTube. All right. Also, my candles that I restocked on like a week or two ago, they already sold out like crazy. So I'll be restocking at the end of this month. I will keep you guys updated on that as well. And if you're interested in booking a personal with me, I will leave that below in the description box as well. Make sure that you guys are reading my guidelines on the site before booking. OK, so you know what to expect. What is the energy here for Capricorns? How are they currently feeling about someone? You guys may feel stabbed in the back by someone. Yeah. Four cups to the tower. Ooh, this could be a third party situation here for some of you. Ooh, wow, yeah, page of pentacles. Some of y'all may wish that you would have offered somebody else a commitment. Yeah, you wish, you wish that you would have been a better person or been an emperor. To somebody else you may feel like you missed out on the opportunity or somebody caused you to miss out on the opportunity just for them to betray you just gonna be like you chose somebody else put yourself where you go whether this is you or this is a cross watcher read all right this is technically how capricorns feel about a person but if you were dealing with a capricorn then put yourself where you go cross watchers okay but this is the energy of how capricorns feel so let's see what's this energy for capricorns yeah look your energy the devil <laughs> Wow. There was a toxic situation going on and it could have been a third party. It's like you were trying to hold on to two people. This is your energy. So it's like you were trying to hold on to two people. And you ended up choosing the, the wrong one over the other one. Yeah, emperor again. Some of you could have even married the wrong the person that you chose that was the wrong choice. That won't be for everybody, but... Whoa, that card flew way up under the table. <laughs> oh, yeah, it flew way under the table. So someone is currently hurting and they really want to pour out how they feel, their emotions. They really want to speak to somebody else. They really want to reconcile with the other person. Judgment. I feel like the divine is all over this. The divine could be keeping this particular person from the person that they didn't choose too. Because someone's still going to have to heal after dealing with all this toxicity that they dealt with with a karmic. They chose a karmic over an empress energy here. I feel like they cared about both. Maybe the karmic was a past person they, they went back to or that you went back to. Because this is your feelings here. So you could feel that you chose the wrong person. And now you're paying for it. <laughs> yeah, because somebody was playing with you in your face. Something became very draining. You could have even got cheated on. Yeah, Page of Swords, that's the truth. And I also feel like you continued to watch someone. Literally as you were drowning in a whole other situation with somebody else that could have even been using you for your money. Yeah, High Priest, you should have trusted your intuition. And now you're, you're kind of like going back and believing like yourself or trying to believe yourself that you made the right decision. But as time goes by... And you see everything you're experiencing with this karma. You're like, I can't even believe that I chose that. But I feel like someone is getting ready to move on. This is your energy. So you could be getting ready to leave this person behind. Even if you even had a family with them or married them, like I said. Yeah, you, you, could, be, you can be going towards a cancer here. There's cancer energy here. Aries energy. Capricorn energy. Gemini energy here. You could be going back towards someone. Your intuition could be telling you to go try to make something right. Look, 10-10 and, and end something. 10-10 on the clock. And end something with a karmic for good. 4-4-4 four, four, four energy. This is sad. Like somebody's going through a lot. Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you don't want to juggle no more. This toxic situation has showed you like I don't want to juggle anymore. 
I don't want to do that anymore. It's like a huge imbalance here. I'm not at peace. I'm not happy. Like, and whoever the Empress Energy is, they made me feel good. Like, and I don't know why I just went to a karmic. Why? I, for some of you, this really is a past person you went back to. And you're realizing some of you after some years that you chose the wrong person. Or throughout the years, they kept showing you that you should have never chose them. But now it's too late because there could be a marriage for some of you or kids involved. But either way it go, I still see you getting a divorce. Even if the, even if you married this person or had kids, I see you getting a divorce. Some of you may even be finding out a kid ain't even yours. Like a lot is about to close out. It's divine intervention over all of this here. You're going to be passing some type of test. You may even be a little guarded too. Yeah, somebody was using you for your money. Four of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. And it fell on the devil. Somebody was using you for your money. And you knew this. You knew this. And I feel like now you're doing some self-reflecting. Thinking about how you're going to take a leap of faith into something new. To have a reunion with somebody from your past. Somebody else from your past that you didn't choose. This person could have stood their ground with you. Or you could feel like this person is going to be standing their ground with you. This person may even reject you when you try to work on it with them. You can see this person as a hard worker, a business owner, or just someone that's very special. But all you can think about is how you made the wrong decision. You made the wrong choice. And you have a lot of regret. A lot of regret. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. Yeah, bottom of the deck. Nine of Cups, you view somebody as wish fulfillment. You may even have a lot of responsibilities now. And I feel like you have a lot of burdens now. And you're in your feelings about it. Yeah, King of Cups. Because like I said, you view this person you didn't choose in the past. The person you didn't choose, you view them as Queen of Wands. Very independent. Look how he's looking at her. He's in his feelings. But he's looking at the Queen of Wands. Like, damn, you're so beautiful, abundant, stable. Like your light shines bright. You're in good energy. You're independent. Why didn't I put in the effort with this? Like somebody's stuck in their head. Why didn't I? Like why didn't I? I could have married you or I could have started dating you in the past. But I wanted to be in control. I wanted to be a player. And I walked away. And now I'm stuck in a whole other situation that I may even had a family in. Yeah, the sun to the ten of cups. But somebody's making a final decision. Whether this is you, Capricorn, or it's a cross-watcher read here. But somebody's making a final decision to leave a karmic behind for good. And it may bring some trouble. But got to go through some trouble before you can get what you want in the end, right? <laughs> like, that's literally what I'm getting here. One more shuffle. Hit the like button if this is resonating with you. Also, hit the like button if you just love my energy. I would love to see you guys again. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get the likes up in these Zodiac reads, okay? We don't be getting enough likes for how many views I be getting. Now, the subscribers be coming in, but the likes be looking like shit. <laughs> I love y'all, but hit the like button, okay? Because we be having like... 2K viewers, 300 likes, okay? Tap the video, like it, okay? Show love, even if it doesn't resonate. If you just love the vibe, you can also have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or in your Jupiter, or in your houses, anywhere for this to resonate, okay? What's the energy? And don't, don't, like, feel like because it's not going on currently in your life. Some of you, this happened in the past. Some of you, this is happening now. Some of you, this won't even happen to the near future when this person leaves somebody and come back your way. So if it doesn't resonate now, you may come back to this video later on and be like, wow, she said that. Okay? And I predict a lot of things, okay? I have so many regulars because I'm always predicting things, whether it's past, present, or future. So hit that like button. What's this energy here? Yeah, look, there's going to be a tower. There's going to be something unexpected that takes place. There will be a tower here. There will be. Yeah, but it's going to bring somebody into something new. They're gonna. It's going to put them through like a transformation here so they can have better. Yeah, 
because there was some type of deception here. Somebody could have even been tempted. Maybe this past person they went back to or something. Maybe they gave them good sex or something like that. So it could have been like some type of temptation energy here that somebody fell for in the past. Yeah, but I feel like somebody, they want a solid foundation. And they thought they were going to get that with this person. Now, I feel like they knew they could get it with you too. But somebody was, I don't know. They felt, I feel like, I feel like they fell for like some type of sexual energy here, honestly. Yeah, look, there's going to be a separation. For some of you, there's not even a marriage. There's an engagement here. But somebody may leave somebody at the altar. Look at that wedding dress. Separation. Somebody may get, may get left out the altar. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, there's retrograde, y'all. Can't talk. Somebody may get left at the altar. That's the energy I'm getting here. Like if it's just an engagement and they're not married yet, they're going to separate. There's going to be like something unexpected happening here and they're going to separate. Yeah, because they're going to want a reunion with you. I'm telling you. They're going to want a reunion with you. Somebody is taking their mask off. They're seeing their self, what they did wrong in their past, where they lacked. Because they've been through enough suffering. Yeah, they're ready to take action and have new beginnings. Yep. So they're choosing to love they self and they're like they're kind of getting away from this toxicity. And this is happening for a lot of you guys. This is taking place right now in the present moment. All right. Somebody's getting ready to leave somebody behind or they're leaving them at the altar. Either it's a commitment and they had kids with this person or it's an engagement and they had kids with this person or marriage. Check out how it resonates. But I'm really picking up there's an engagement here. But somebody's going to break this shit off. They're going to leave somebody at the altar. Either at the wedding or before the wedding. All right. But that's what I'm getting here, y'all. Let's close this out. Let's get some advice here. Yeah, somebody dealing with a karmic that likes to party, okay? And they're very clingy. All right. What's his energy? Do, you, do your thoughts need a root? Oh, my God, y'all. I cannot read. I'm getting irritated with this tonight with this retrograde. 12, 12 on the clock. Yeah. Yeah, they know. Look, spirit know I'm getting irritated with this retrograde stuff right now. Do your thoughts need a root? Oh, my God. Why can't I say that? Do your thoughts need a reboot? <laughs> oh, my God. I got to be tired. I had a long day. Do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. Okay. Yeah, so somebody wants to focus on the good things now. They don't want to they don't want to be stuck in a situation anymore, any longer. Open your heart, not just a little, but all the way and let the love flow in. So yeah, this person, I feel like they're coming in with an offer. Or this is you, Capricorn. This is this is how you feel. This is your how you feel about your person read. So maybe you put somebody in a third party and now you're going back to have a reunion with them and you're cutting someone else off. You're a cross watcher, you put yourself where you go. You have the power to create the life you love. Remember that. A little bit of faith goes a long way. Remember that. Okay? They keep saying remember that here. Remember that you have the power and remember that, you know, having a little faith takes you very far. Okay? What's this energy? I'm literally going to go to TikTok Live literally after this video. So make sure y'all follow me over. Ooh, 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 ooh. Make sure y'all follow me over there, okay? Good things to come. I give thanks for all that I have and all that awaits me. So yeah, you have good things coming your way. A lot of good things coming your way. Dedication inspires imagination. I express myself freely, creatively, and gracefully here. So I feel like you guys have a lot of good things coming your way. A lot of good things to come, all right? An honest and unique offering is appreciated. I adore my differences. They make me one of a kind. Yeah, there's going to be like some type of honest conversation here with you and somebody that you want to have a reunion with. Now, I don't know if this person going to take you back, okay? But what I'm getting here is I see you really cutting somebody else off to go towards the person that you wish that you would have chosen in the first place. And you fell for temptation and lust and, and BS. And it, that happens sometimes in life, okay? I'm not excusing you for what you did. If this was you, Capricorn, I'm not excusing you for what you did. But what I'm saying is in life, sometimes we don't we may have that situation where we love two people and we end up choosing the wrong person that we thought would be a better fit for us, even though we both probably felt like at that time they were both good options, right? 
but there is things that you don't know about a person until you get to know them more and i feel like that's what happened here and you realize over time as you were still watching another person from afar that they were the person that you should have chose and now it's like you're closing all this out so you can go and get that person but for some of you that person already in another commitment now or they're not going to want to be with you now because they're not going to trust you but that's what i got here y'all Take it or leave it. Hit the like, the subscribe button. And until next time, bye.